I'm back on the wheels and all of. Finally got my little beauty back. I'm starting to feel a little bit lonely, so I decided to talk to the camera. First thing I need to do today is fix that. <laughs> Magnificent. Today is gonna be a little bit hectic. I really want to miss the morning traffic, so I have to go to Bari, which is around another five hours from Naples, and I have uh, a ferry taking me all the way to Albania to do this in Albania. So uh, it goes at 11 tonight, so we have to make sure that I catch it. This is my ride to Albania and uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. And for me it's time to go to sleep. I found the perfect spot. Out of Dures, I don't know, maybe an hour from Tirana, let's say around 10 hours from Athens. And uh, I think my uh, my transmission just got fucked. So I thought I would uh, I thought I would make the decision to uh, to keep going because it seemed that it could work, but uh, it's just not doing so well. So I have an option for me that would be probably to go to Tirana, which is the only place where I found. Volkswagen. So first the visit to Volkswagen didn't go so okay, super busy, not very interested. Appointment next week, so scratch that. But he recommended another place just around the corner, so I went there. Super nice Albanian dude. He asked for 700 euros to change it. I'm just gonna keep going. It's around four hours, I think, maybe 200, 250 kilometers in Albania. So I think I should be good to make it to Greece. I think in Greece I might have a better chance of uh, having it fixed. Let's just see how far I can get. I'm really close to Vlore and I think I'm around half an hour away from the place where I would want to camp. But my car just stopped using the fourth gear. Okay, two minutes later, my car doesn't really go anymore. Okay, we're going again, it's using a fourth gear, I just waited for a few minutes at the gas station and I'm 15 minutes from Prane, come on! Flore! After some desperation, I have a plan, I found a mechanic who specializing in automatic transmissions so it's around 80 kilometers north from this place so i'll be going back again but uh, sometimes a step back is a step forward am i right this is the place that's supposed to help me Let's see. Arbor isn't here anymore. I think I spoke to his mom. And she just told me he's close by, actually. He just moved to another place and she stopped like a guy. In two minutes he'll be back and he's gonna take me there. So let's hope this is gonna work out. I'm at this place. I found it. It looks really decent, actually. And I was pretty lucky because the place I went to, that was his old place. He moved here a week ago, actually. And I spoke to his mom. She just stopped these guys and they took me all the way here. It turns out that uh, one of the guys, he speaks German uh, and English. He's a cousin of Arbri. He said that when Arbri comes, he's gonna, he's gonna call him and uh, he's gonna explain what is with the car and hopefully 
can get it fixed. So this is the place where I'm leaving my Olaf. I'm gonna leave the car here. I'm gonna get to Athens. I stay there. I go to Thessaloniki. I fly to Czech because my grandma has uh, been together with grandfather for 60 years. Everyone's gonna be there so I couldn't miss it. So I bought a ticket a while back already. So I'm leaving this place with my Olaf behind. There's a highway right over there where I can take a bus from. I'm in fear. I'm in Athens and I'm enjoying this. Pretty incredible view. I think I'm gonna end the video here and I think this will continue when I come back again from Czech Republic. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah.